And that's your look at sport. Nice one. Thank you, Soph. A few showers about today. We'll check your local weather details next with Lauren Kemp. Transform your home into a haven with cool, pure, clean air, creating a world of perfect comfort. Take your home to the next level with the Air Specialists. Well, didn't the overnight rain deliver the perfect conditions for a Sunday sleep in? Eastern set rain gauges have been well and truly topped up this weekend, and no doubt the winter clothes are making a more regular appearance as well. The country's capital plummeted below zero early this morning for the first time this year, and we'll see the cooler weather continue this week, albeit with a little bit less rain. Tonight's weather shot by Charlotte Michalitsis. There's still plenty flowing through Glenrock Conservation Area in Newcastle right now, after some decent rain east of the divide in the last few days days. In the last 24 hours, that was widespread throughout the southeast corner of the Sunshine State. Parts of New South Wales also copped heavy showers, with some towns registering triple digit totals, but it's still remarkably dry across the rest of the continent. There's been a pretty solid onshore influence this weekend, winds wrapping around a very broad and stubborn high, feeding off warm ocean temperatures and ultimately producing heavy falls along the coast. However, these low pressure troughs in the Coral Sea are finally starting to move further out as the high centres itself over Australia's southeast corner, so it'll be dry and mostly sunny for the majority of the nation tomorrow and for the days to follow. Nothing too unusual about tomorrow's top temperatures, fairly typical April weather, high 20s to low 30s throughout the top end, a few degrees cooler further south but with slightly more cloud cover. Showers continuing in Brisbane with a top of 24 in Sydney, down to a chilly 14 degrees overnight. Showers continuing throughout the northern rivers today, getting up to 24 at Evans Head, 20 at Cassandra. 25 at Ballina and 23 degrees the top there at Cape Byron. Southerly winds picking up briefly to around 20 kilometres an hour tomorrow afternoon, but calm for the majority of the rest of the day. The odd shower or two continuing throughout the region, but we should see a slight break in the rain for the days to follow. Similar daytime temperatures, getting up to 25 at Evans Head, 24 at Lismore and 24 at Mobulumbar there as well. Taking a look at coastal conditions for tomorrow, we have huge seas between 2.5 to 3 metres right along the coast and swell at around two metres with, uh, with southeasterly winds up to 30 knots as well. High tide around seven in the morning, the low around 20 past one in the afternoon, sun to rise just after six and setting just before 5.30 p.m. Showers possible in the tweed tomorrow and a top of 25 degrees. Easing on Tuesday, mostly fine with similar temperatures through to next weekend, but cooling down a little there from Sunday. Much the same in Ballina this week, a slight chance of a shower or to, but typical mid-autumn temperatures during the day and at night and remaining mostly dry. Lismore tomorrow topping out at 24 degrees, 25 the top there on Tuesday, heating up briefly into the high 20s on Thursday before a drop back down into the low 20s as cloud builds leading into next Sunday and remaining fine in Grafton from around Tuesday through to at least next Sunday. Mid to high 20s the top and high pressure will keep things largely dry and stable throughout the region. And checking out the surf along our coasts today. There are a few small waves rolling into Park Beach on the mid-north coast. We can expect these coastal conditions to turn far more dangerous tomorrow with southeasterly winds right along the coast from the mid-north coast up to the north coast. Also, seas will be fairly high, up to three metres in parts. So Jane, mostly sunny this week. Oh, you've made the holiday makers happy <laughs> with that. Thank you, Lauren. That is the NBN News for this Sunday night. There will be more news at 9.40, but for now, good night.